Alright guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is going to be build update number one on my brand new Team Associated SC5M. This is Team Associated's brand new two-wheel drive short course truck platform. So uh, really nice to have a great quality kit back here at the RC Network and what I really appreciate that Team Associated does is they, they dive into all the details of a build. This is really a builder's kit. And what I mean by that is there's all the details that you'd want to see in a true hobby grade builder's kit. And we'll kind of go into some of those details a little bit later in the video. But in this video, I'm going to show you how the build has gone so far, um, any issues that I may have seen, and uh, some of the cool upgrades that Team Associated has included on this SE5M kit. So uh, with that, um, as far as the owner's manual, Great owner's manual. Um, Team Associated is known for having very detailed owner's manuals and also uh, providing little racer tips. And then they also have a pretty cool little thing in here where you can go to a uh, QR code uh, with your smartphone and actually play some of the tech tip videos, which is pretty cool. So just scan that with your smartphone and it gets you right over to some pretty cool little videos. So uh, right here, that uh, little checkered flag is gonna be the symbol that indicates racer tips, which I definitely appreciate. So uh, with the manual, you also get this kind of one-to-one -one, uh, ratio for the hardware, which is kind of like a nice little page marker as you're going through uh, the actual uh, manual. So you can kind of flip that over and have that as a reference guide when you're just kind of referencing what an 18 millimeter screw is. So pretty cool little deal there. With that, um, I found one little small issue with the owner's manual. Uh, there was a couple of uh, bags that kind of got off set. So what I mean by that, I started on the rear clip here and you'll notice right here it says bag C and, and it's kind of split. Here's the front clip, that was bag C. Well, here starts bag D and then they continued with bag C all the way down here on the rear clip. Now with that, uh, everything became one bag off or at least in the owner's manual. So when I started with the differential build here with bag D or DD, um, everything was kind of uh, off one bag. So right here, this was the rear differential bag, which is bag EE. And then you see here, uh, differential in bag E. So just a small little thing that uh, was kind of a, a miss in the editing of this uh, uh, manual, but nonetheless, I figured it out. I knew that the rear clip and the rear differential were two different things. So I figured all that stuff out. But overall, great manual. Really nice to have these uh, back at the RC Network. So um, right here, you're seeing uh, uh, some of the pieces I have left over, and which is really nice because they're giving you lots of additional uh, tuning items for down the road. Now I am setting this thing up completely 100% stock to the manual to kind of get me started. Now back to some of the details. Um, Team Associated gives you diff lube and also um, black grease along the lines. They also give you some shock oil down the road. That's going to be in a later bag, but really nice that they gave you those detailed items. So uh, very nice from Team Associated. Now another detailed item that I really, really appreciate are the screws. And I know this is such a minor, minor issue, but the, the screws just seem to be a much better quality than I found in a lot of kits these days. And uh, what I mean by that is not only do they have like um, little markings on them, like they're good quality screws, but they also fit my MIP driver like just absolutely perfectly. I've had other kits in the past that, you know, some screws fit, some screws were kind of a little wobbly, like maybe it's a 332nds or a 564s. <laughs> But anyways, these um, screws were awesome. And what's really nice about this is pretty much 98% of everything I've touched has been a two millimeter screw or two millimeter driver screw. And what's really great is I just picked up the new uh, big handle MIP driver, which is just awesome. So that's gonna be uh, Tool Tuesday, probably actually before this episode airs. Um, with that, the only other tool you'll need so far is going to be a 5.5 millimeter um, uh, net driver, and that's basically it. You're, you're pretty much set to go with just those two tools, at least up to this point. Now with that, upgrades. Uh, out of the box, we're seeing some pretty cool little things. You have the rear uh, ball stud mount right here that is the nice blue factory team uh, aluminum anodized uh, unit. Uh, very nice to see that item 
included right in the kit. It's kind of a little option bag that was added in. You can run either minus two or plus two uh, millimeters, so very nice. Other thing that we're seeing um, upgrade out of the box, and that's why I kind of paused here, was you are getting the aluminum top shaft, and that is the one-piece top shaft, so there's no added collar or anything on there to uh, keep it set into the bearing. So very nice that they're including the top shaft uh, right out of the box. Well, guys, that's going to be it for update number one. I can't wait to get this thing prepped and ready for electronics. Um, I am absolutely loving this build so far. Well, guys, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.